some movie news. Movies, movies, movies. So Steven Spielberg's picture, The Papers, uh, I believe it was announced a, a little while ago, um, is starting to gain steam. They're starting to ramp up on production, and they recently announced uh, some new cast members that are going to be coming out. Now, if you don't know what The Papers is, um, it's about the release of The Pentagon Papers back in 1971, which was uh, a leaked document, um, which was a study by the Justice Department on America's involvement in Vietnam. And let's just say it didn't paint the best picture of what we were doing and why we were doing it there. And this created a huge storm because the Washington Post, I want to say the New York Times as well, uh, wanted to publish these stories. And they were getting a lot of pushback because technically these are classified doc documents. So it kind of brought up, you know, where's the line between, yes, this is information we have to keep classified. And this is information that the public deserves to know. Um, now, we and had this already kind heard of battle still rages on. With very true, very true. But we'll get into that in just a second. Um, but so it's already we already announced that it was going to be starring Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep, two Oscar winning actors. Uh, and I mean, I don't believe these two have ever worked together, uh, Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks. So I'm actually really excited. One's going to be an editor and one's uh, some they both work at The Washington Post in the movie. So they're going to be doing those roles. And again, it's Steven Spielberg. And anytime Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks get together, I mean, name a bad movies that those two have done. Name even a mediocre movie that those two have done together. They're well, all what's honestly amazing. surprising is how many movies those two have done together. Yeah. Well, I mean, they found a good combination. I mean, I want to say the last one they did together was Bridge of Spies, and that movie was just absolutely spectacular. And that also brings us to this is really Steven Spielberg's wheelhouse. I mean, doing these period historical movies. Uh, you had, what was it? Saving Private Ryan, him and Tom Hanks. You had Bridge of Spies, him and Tom Hanks. You had, <laughs> you know, we could go on and on. I believe there's a couple more. Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks of historical periods. Um, plus, they've probably done what, like six or seven movies together? Mm -hmm. Something, I don't know. Something crazy. Probably like, good, that. like that. Yeah. So, so that'll be cool. Now, they also announced that Allison Brie recently would be joining the cast, which she's gorgeous. So, can't ever hate on that because she's also a really good actress. So, I don't want to feel like I'm being sexist. But. <laughs> Brendan right, likes right. to, when I start going in an awkward direction, Brendan likes to just be quiet and watch me continue to go awkward. And I, I do to like to see you crash and burn. He does. He enjoys it. That's why maybe Love Life is his favorite segment. But uh, so we're seeing a couple different things. And and so I, 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 I'm very interested about this movie. Number one, because it, again, it's Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. It looks awesome. But it does bring up the question of what is media, especially journalists and reporters, what is their role and, and how much of the government should we let stay secret and how much should we get transparency now if you ask me nowadays uh newspapers and stuff like that they're they're pretty much garbage they're all you know leaning one way or the other it's very hard to get that impartial news from these major sources but back in the 70s before the internet and stuff that was taken very seriously with by a lot of these people they they wanted to be impartial they wanted to put out the the good stories the ones that actually informed people and you know, helped you make an opinion, not gave you the opinion that you you should have. Maybe. I mean, yes, yeah. I would say journalistic integrity was a lot higher back then than it is now. Uh, well, I would My say I, I would hope so. But if you look at it, we, we do know that, you know, several decades before then was the period that we usually talk about. The yellow so journalism. We, yeah, which does not seem to have actually gone away. So... There definitely have Which, been yeah, we're, groups we're in a new cycle that try of, of to be who's first. Have in, yeah, there are definitely groups and papers that have tried to be as impartial as possible, but also get out um, important stories that have real uh, impact and mm -hmm. are meaningful. Yeah, and and. and and in the rush to get everything out first, we get a lot of the real, the facts misconstrued. And then there's a lot of people who say, oh, I just saw that one blurb on CNN and maybe they put it out and it wasn't right. Maybe they retracted it later. It's just you only saw that one blurb and that's what you're going to go with. That's that's what you think instead of really sitting down and being able to read a full story um, and, and get put all the pictures, the, the pieces of the picture together yourself and really try to figure out what happened, because there's so many different points of view with everything. Um, but this movie also kind of tackles, you know, the government interference, you know, with 
this this uh, media outlet, which was the Washington Post in, in this case, and how they went out on a smear comp- campaign and really tried to discredit the person who did the leaking. And it wasn't really found out until like a year later when all the Watergate stuff happened that uh, Nixon had kind of ordered his people to say, eh, you know, maybe say some bad things about this guy every now and then. Yeah, and, and this uh, hasn't yeah. happened and, in the and, last 10 years either. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. But uh, constantly. Yeah, but. so... <laughs> it, it, it's just, I, it's, I, I do looks wonder like if they're... that's if that's uh, a tie-in. Whether this would be a, a kind of a rare Spielberg piece where he's uh, possibly being a little bit more targeted at um, yeah, releasing the, this stuff because usually he does historical pieces that yes are still meaningful or emotional pieces, mm-hmm. um, but they're definitely. But you're right; been... they don't particular have that. That that they're not they don't have the foreshadowing of what's happening today, or or they're at least not on a hot topic, Mm. or a hot button topic that's which currently raging. You know, First Amendment freedom of press rights is a very hot hot button topic. Again, I feel like the press is kind of. I just I, I don't like most of the national media. I'm not going to say they're all bad. I'm not going to say they all do a bad job. But I know that if I want to get a true story, I have to read three different articles from three different websites or watch three different news programs from three different channels to get a full picture of really what's going on. You can't take and, it from and one sometimes source because you can't one even source is always still leaning. But in, in related to that is also just uh, even more particularly the controversies over leaked documents and well, that's whether – those should be allowed or whether you're helping whether you're helping yeah. the american people or you're hindering them yes yes because yes. now i'm not going to say that yes uh we should be the most tr- everything should be transparent but i think we should be more transparent than we are okay. in a government but there is still a good reason to keep some secrets um well without going into the politics seems- of it i would say because yeah. that's such a big a current debate and controversy yeah. and because it's, it's to my knowledge rather unusual for uh spielberg to even uh, touch on that kind of topic i i'm curious to see whether this movie will uh try to present it from a one direction or another like heavy-handed mm-hmm. try give the narrative in favor of one side of it or the other or whether he's and just I, I would imagine to if- present it all I imagine if they are going to skew it one direction or the other, I mean, it's not hard to go against Nixon and the regime yeah, of this Nixon is very true from back, back in the seventies. <laughs> so I imagine they'd go with more of the freedom of the press, you know, and how the press was hindered in this one. So, and, and, and the Pentagon papers we'll I, are very famous and usually yeah. pretty celebrated as, uh, well, this was such a big st- in journalism. Anyway, it's like, this is such a big story. This is like the Pentagon papers, right? That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, um, you could definitely, it is usually now seen, uh, generally favorably. Um, but yeah. you don't, that, that doesn't mean Spielberg's going to go that way. He might take on, take it on the other way just to make things more interesting. Something you're not expecting. I, yeah. And like, like the arguments again, without getting too much in is I, I want to say the arguments for this is you release this classified information that put some of our soldiers in danger. But on the other side is I release this, this classified information showing that our soldiers should not be there. They should not be in danger. We should pull them out. We, there's no reason for us to be there. So really you're just putting them in danger by keeping them out there. We're trying to pull them back. And, you know, so it's each side kind of yelling, Hey, you're hurting somebody, you know, and, but well, we'll see. I'm sure it'll be a spectacular movie. I, I can't wait to see it. Uh, the, I mean, like I said, the last one that I saw with these two getting together, Bridge of Spies, was spectacular. And I can't imagine this will be any less. I uh, can't wait for it to come out. Now, it's just starting production. I don't believe there's any official release dates. Probably looking at some probably a 2019 release or maybe a very, very late 2018 release. That's my best guess. But uh, you never know because they're just now rounding out the cast. So there's still lots to go. But I can't wait to see it when it does come up. But hit us up. Let us know. What what angle do you think they should take with this movie? Should they go more the political or should they just try to tell a good story and present the facts? Uh, I don't know if I really said anything different there, but yeah, you let me know. Comments down below, of course, at what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Oh, there's good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep on rolling.